ya está. Ah, sí. ¿Sí? Sí. Hello and welcome to English Classes TV Shows Explained. Hello. So today we're looking at Breaking Bad and we're going to be talking about Episode 1, Series 1. So this is the pilot episode. So in this video we're going to talk about words and phrases, idiomatic expressions. So the first expression we have is a little bit vulgar. It is dick around. What does dick around mean? I have to admit that I don't know any vulgar words in English. No, I'm sure you don't know any vulgar words. So, explain us. What is dick? What was it? Dick. What is dick? I don't know. Dick means penis, the male member. Yeah. But dick around, it means to mess about, to not spend your time productively, or being stupid, doing stupid things. But also, you can be dicked around, by someone else. Cheated by someone. No, it's kind of like inconvenience. They are inconveniencing you. So this was used in connection with uh, Walter White and the car wash. She was, he was told not to make sure they didn't dick him around. Yeah, make him stay longer, make him wash cars, things like that. They dick him around. Okay. Okay, the next word again. <laughs> it's quite a few vulgar words here. Fake crap. If something's fake, what does that mean? It's not real. It's artificial. Yeah, and fake cr crap. Something crap. Crap literally is feces, is shit. Yeah, but when something's crap, something's very bad. Yeah, so fake crap is a copy of something which isn't as good. Yeah. Okay, band-aid. What does band-aid mean? I think band-aids are those things that you put on a place when you had wound. Yeah, if you've cut your finger or something like, if you cut, you've got a cut, you put the band-aid over it to stop it getting infected, help it heal. It's interesting, this is the American, in American English they say band-aid, but in English English we would say? Plasters. Plaster, very good, yes, well then. Which brings us nicely onto the next word. Smart ass, or smart ass. What does smart ass, what does ass mean? Ass, it's... I would I would say ass as I'm English, but the Americans would say ass. Yeah, but it's your your bum. Bum, yeah. Yeah, posterior. And what? Sorry. Posterior, you could say as well, very euphemistically. Okay. Um, smart. What does smart mean? Clever. Clever, intelligent. Yeah. And what does a, what is a smart ass or a smart ass? I think it's like telling someone that is who's trying to be clever but is not clever really. Mm. They're, they're trying to... Pretend that they're clever, maybe. Well, they're trying to... They're kind of... You use it quite a lot for children and people like that who are, tr are trying to trying to better you by being being trying to be clever. Yeah. So if someone's a smart-ass or smart-ass, they're kind of trying to trick you or trying to get the better of you. Okay, what does decay mean? Decay is like to go down. What does it mean in a literal sense? It's probably mainly used in a literal sense. What's the literal sense of the word? If something decays, what would you say? What would decay and what happens? Mm, I don't know how to explain it. Well, dec uh, de de decay is the process by which something becomes breaks down, like a, uh, something biological will decay into nothing. Yeah, so it's like decompose a little bit to decay. Or, the, or a process like a, a house or something like that will decay hmm. over time. Something is new and then it decays and it becomes worse and worse. But decay can mean to go go down or get less as well. Hmm. Okay, short-handed. What does short-handed mean? I don't know. It's one of those idiomatic expressions. Yeah, it's an idiomatic expression. If you were short-handed at work, what would that mean? That you know nothing about things? No, it means there's not enough people to do the work. Oh, okay. Because there's not enough hands. Okay. Yeah, we need, yeah. To, we need we, there's a restaurant, for example, and you need five waiters to, or waitresses to man the whole thing, and you've only got four, you're short-handed, yeah. i.e. you don't have enough hands. Okay. What about showing? 
So showing in terms of pregnancy, what does that mean? In terms of pregnancy? Yeah, but she used it in terms of pregnancy. Maybe because uh, she used it because you could already see that she was pregnant. Yeah, if you're showing it means it's obvious that you're pregnant. You can see the belly coming out like this. Once you see the belly coming out, then you're showing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, the next one, this is a little bit of a cultural reference. I think most people understand who this guy is, but Keith Richards. It's the member of Rolling Stones. Yeah, he's the guitarist in Rolling Stones, and why is he famous? What's he most famous for? He's a little bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's crazy, he, he parties very hard, he takes a lot of drugs and drinks a lot of booze. Yeah, and lately he published this book about, uh, about his life, and he has like fights with Mick Jagger there. Yeah. It's quite funny, mm -hmm. because he says funny things about Mick Jagger, like that he likes to be called Your Majesty and things like this, or that he has a little leak. Okay, <laughs> this is interesting. So Richard, Keith Richards is a byword for a hellraiser, someone who drinks and takes drugs, that kind of sex, drugs and rock and roll, that kind of person. And he's 80, or something yeah. like this. And then he's quite 80, but yeah, he's in his <laughs> early 70s now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold it against you. What does hold it against you mean? It's like to hold a grudge against someone, like you did something wrong to me and I will not forget it and one day I will do something against you. Mm. Oh yeah, it often, often exists in the negative, I won't hold it against you. Okay. What you've done or... The way I will you, forget it. The way you are. Okay, this next one I think is relatively simple, easy money. What does easy money mean? Easy money to earn, like without much effort. Yeah, if it's money that's gained without making too much effort. It's yeah, like playing games or something like this. Or yeah. stealing. Or Often easy money is associated with criminal activities. Yeah. Okay, eyebrows. This one's very easy. You can describe this. The eyebrows are here. Yes. That's very, they're very easy. Okay, sage. What is sage? It's... Uh, a color, it's like a little bit uh, yellow, greenish, something like this. Probably, uh, yes. It's a, it could be a color, but... It's also a plant. It's a plant. It's, it's mainly... a medicinal plant. Yeah, so it's a, well, it's um, a herb. A herb for flavoring, yeah. flavoring things. Is it, it also this thing that when you cut a tree, it comes out? That's sap. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> sap is slightly different. But sage is probably, they argue about whether sage is a colour. For a lot of people, sage is not a colour. For men, Matt, like me, probably wouldn't describe sage as a colour. <laughs> okay, bina. What is a bina? This is also a bit rude. I don't know what does it mean. This one's a bit complicated. This is very American. This is, this is to mean uh, a person from South America. Okay. Because yeah? is... they're people from South America, they eat a lot of beans. Oh, okay. So they're described as beaners. Okay. It's a little bit racist. Oh, it's very racist. It's very insulting. Yeah. yeah. It's a very bad term. We'll not repeat it in our shows. Maybe only a couple more times. <laughs> okay, what does with mean? With is to with. be with somebody. Okay, I know it's not this with. It's <laughs> W-I-F-F. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, to with is to smell. Or a whiff is a, a smell of something. So it actually comes along twice. So once, uh, and once I believe he's talking about the dog whiffing out things, whiffing out the drugs, and he also says a good whiff of this alcohol, of this not this alcohol, of this um, poisonous gas, and you're all dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a whiff is like like that to smell something. Let you off. Uh, if something let you off, it make you f like collapse or something. No, to let you off is to uh, not. It's similar to not hold something against somebody. Okay. It's like let you off. It's like uh, I won't charge you for that, or I won't. I won't. I won't nag you about that or something. I w you do something, or you forget to do something. And say, oh, I've forgotten to do that, and you'd be like, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, okay. I'll let you off. Okay, here we've got something that's a bit more complicated because you've got to think about it in two ways. And it's used in both ways, in quick succession in the, in the episode. So it's turn myself in, turn oneself in, or turn somebody in. 
Isn't it like to change something, like to force something to do something? No, we're going to talk something. about in terms of, let's imagine Agatha has committed a crime. Yeah? So she, she's committed a crime and she feels very guilty about it. She... Okay, I know. She turns herself in. Okay, so I go to police and I report, oh, I did the crime. Yeah, but this is... So this, you put self. So... I she, turn myself. She turns herself in. Or I could say you should turn yourself in. Agatha, you've done this horrible crime. You have to turn yourself in. Okay. Yeah, she's going to turn herself <laughs> in. Yeah. But then there's the other way. So that exists. Turn, turn myself in, turn yourself in, turn his self in. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's also turn, turn you in, turn them in, turn her in, or turn him in. Yep, so I know Agatha's done this crime and she doesn't want to turn herself in, so I'm going to turn her in. Thank you, smart yep, I'm going to turn you in. You're being, I'm going to turn you in. I'm going to tell the police. Girls. Yeah. Okay, to flunk, what does flunk mean? I don't know. Flunk is a term used uh, in connection with school, usually, and exams. It means fail, to fail. Okay. If you do a course or something and you don't pass, uh, you fail the course, you flunk the course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we've got an interesting, an interesting three... It's the same word used three times. Or maybe even four times. Shit, what does shit mean? This is interesting because shit literally means... We discussed this. Feces. Yes. Yeah, so we've got shit meaning feces. We have shit, which means bad. Yeah? Uh, what else? We, we've got some very colloquial things, especially in America. There's a certain sort of class of people in America who use shit a lot. So they use shit to mean stuff. Stuff. Yeah? Things. Uh, have you seen that shit they've got down at the store? It's... yeah? So it's just, it's just a way of saying thing. Yeah? Yep. Who's, who's is all this shit around here? Yeah, it just means stuff. But also, interestingly, you can describe something as being the shit, which means good. So you say it's the shit. This is very colloquial. Yeah? yeah. Those last two especially are very colloquial. Yeah. But it means the shit, it means good. And also, similarly, we're talking about something that's the shit, good. You could also say the bomb. The bomb is another thing which means very good. Yeah? The bomb, or sometimes even, even more colloquially, da bomb. The bomb or da bomb. So it's kind of a bit, the shit, the bomb, and da bomb are all very sort of American, I would say, gangster sort of lingua, <laughs> ling, ling, sort of colloquialisms from there, like gangs in roaming the streets. Mm -hmm. They would say, it's the shit, it's the bomb, it's da bomb. Yeah? Um, continuing on with shit as well, a lot of expressions with shit. Shit where I eat. What does it, what does he mean by that? Jesse says, I don't shit where I eat. I think that he wants to say, I don't uh, do bad things where I live. I don't, yeah. Yeah, so if you're going to commit a crime, <clears throat> you don't commit the crime in your, in neighbor. in your neighborhood. Or you, don't, you don't rob from your next door neighbor, no. So the other, the other expression we have is, shit where I eat, or um, you don't shit on your own doorstep. Yeah, so the yeah. two expressions to mean, you go somewhere else to do something. Okay, RV or Winnebago? It's a kind of car. Yes. Yes. A car? Uh, no. <laughs> it's a, a motorhome. Um, okay, it's like a car. Well, it's a very big car and you can live in it. Yeah, like a car of a van. Okay, yeah, you, see, you see the RV in the episode, yeah? So it's like, an RV is probably a bit bigger than a motorhome. Yeah, but an RV is a big vehicle. It has in it bedrooms and a toilet and things like that. A living space inside. Okay, what does it mean by, what does Jesse mean when he says he get, get, to get lucky? He describes himself as getting lucky twice. Does he? Yeah, so what does that mean? Why is he getting lucky twice? Because he was lucky, basically. Well, he was lucky because he was in his next door neighbor's house when the raid happened, and he wasn't caught. And what was the other expression? Why is it doubly get lucky? What's the other expression we use to get lucky? It's, this is often used by men. And it's used to describe seducing a woman or having sex with a woman. If you have sex with a woman, you describe yourself as getting lucky. 
Uh -huh. You could if say it goes wrong, right? Yeah, so you go to a bar and you chat up a lady, and then you go back and you have sex, and then your friends ask you the next day, and you say, "Yeah, I got lucky." Yeah, meaning I don't know what sex. you men do. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is this is what we okay. this is what it's described as get lucky. It's a good lesson though today's one. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of a lot of uh, vulgar expressions and but, colloquial ones. and colloquialism. So it's good. Yeah. Okay, make bail. What does this is quite complicated. What does bail mean? Bail is uh, if you are released from prison for from some for some time, they have to pay bail to recharge you. Yeah. What happens is you are arrested for a crime, and then they take you to, they take you to prison, but you've got to wait until your your crime your Judgment. what you've been your, you've been accused of goes to court. So between that time, they can let you out of prison, but they've got to make sure you come back. So you pay some money, and then and then when she, once the time is up and you come back for your to for your um, court hearing, you give back the money. They uh, they give you back the money. You're sure about it? Did they give you back the money? Yeah, they give you back the money okay. if you. There's an incentive to make you come back. So you if it, so for a small crime it might be a small amount of money, but for a a big crime it might be a very large amount of money. Yeah. But you spend. So it's the idea. It's an incentive for you to come back. Yeah. Okay. The next word is bug. What does bug mean? It has a couple of meanings. Uh, I think here it was used like bugs are hidden microphones that police use to record. That is one meaning, but that is not the meaning it's used in. Okay. The bug is like a little mosquito or little fly. Yeah. Little it's, insect. A, it's, a, it's an insect essentially. A bug is an insect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. But a bug also is a bacterial infection or an infection. Okay. If someone's getting someone's ill, you often say there's a bug going around. I get ill and then I, I get the virus. Yeah, I get the bug. it passes on to other people. He says there's a bug going around. Okay, yeah. Meaning, meaning like an illness, an, a con contagious illness. Mm -hmm. Okay. To to drop off. To drop off is when you drive your car and there's someone with you and they leave before you reach your place you stop so, yeah. yeah you stop and you and the person leaves the yeah, car you let them out <laughs> yeah at the place where they want to go but you drop them off yeah okay adulterance what does adulterance mean i don't know adulterance is actually quite a, a, a formal quite a posh word which means that if you've got something that should be pure and you add something to it to contaminate it, this product is adulterated. Okay. Yeah, so um, the classic example is when you're talking about drugs. You have like heroin or cocaine, pure heroin or pure cocaine, pure cocaine and they add other things to it and these are uh, adulterated products. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Um, and um, sniff around? Sniff around, we had, we, this is, sniff is similar to whiff actually. Yeah. To sniff is like, to smell, but to whiff is like just to take the air in more like, more mm -hmm. whiff is like, and then sniff is more like smelling the actual thing. Yeah. You have sniffer dogs, yeah? So he was describing how um, sniffer dogs come around looking for drugs in, uh, in those storage departments, yeah? Yeah. And finally, Break bad. But breaking Bad is the name of the... We, we discussed this, didn't we? Yeah. Going bad, turning bad. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so that's all the words for today. Any other words you don't understand? You know, anything else you're not sure about? I'd really appreciate some comments. So you can put some, some, some... Any other words or phrases you don't understand in the comment section below and we can produce another video answering those questions just to cover everything hopefully. Hopefully after these four videos you will understand everything. Okay and that's it for today. We'll see you next week. See you. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, uh, one more thing. <laughs> At the moment we're still in our early days of making these videos and we're, we're struggling to, well we're not struggling but we're, things are going slowly. So I was thinking maybe um, <laughs> I was going to kind of get them to subscribe.